hello and assalamu alaikum the, in this uh, part of the lecture i will uh, discuss about the uh, different methods that are used for maximum power tracking so the solar uh, solar photovoltaic system exists in many different configurations with regard to the relationship to inverter systems external grids battery banks or uh, other electrical load that might be connected to it regardless of the ultimate uh, destination of the solar power the central problem addressed by the maximum power point tracking algorithm is that the efficiency of the power transfer from the solar cell depends on the amount of sunlight that is directly falling on the solar panels the temperature of the solar panel and the electrical characteristics of the load also contributes uh, to its overall efficiency as these conditions vary the load characteristics that give uh, the highest power transfer efficiency changes the efficiency of the system is optimized when the load characteristic changes to keep the power transfer at the highest efficiency this load characteristic is called the maximum power point the maximum power point tracking algorithm is uh, basically the process of finding this point and keeping our load characteristics at that point electrical circuits can be designed to uh, present arbitrary loads uh, to the photovoltaic cell and then convert the voltage current rating or the frequency uh, to uh, basically suit uh, the other devices of the systems that is called the impedance matching and the maximum power point transfer solves the problem uh, to of uh, choosing the best load uh, to be presented to the cells in order to get the most usable power the solar cells has a complex relationship between the temperature and the total uh, resistance that produces a non linear output efficiency curve which can be analyzed uh, based on the uh, uh, characteristic current and voltage curves it is the purpose of uh, the maximum uh, power point uh, tracking algorithm system uh, to uh, sample the output of the photovoltaic cell and apply the proper resistance uh, that might be done via changing load uh, to obtain maximum power for any given environmental condition maximum power point tracking devices are typically integrated into electrical power converter systems that provides the voltage or current conversion filtering and uh, regulation uh, for the uh, uh, der derivation of uh, various types of loads including power grids batteries charging or uh, different types of motors so maximum power uh, point uh, uh, tracking algorithms can be divided basic into two types of methods the first ones are the indirect methods and the second ones are the direct methods the indirect methods include the fixed voltage method and the fractional uh, method or uh, fractional uh, open circuit voltage method the uh, second uh, second type or the direct, direct methods include perturb and observe method and the second category is increment, uh, in, incremental conduction method the current sweep is another type of method that in current sweep method it uh, uses a uh, uh, sweep waveform uh, for the photovoltaic array current such that the iv characteristics of the photovoltaic array is obtained and updated at fixed terminal the maximum power point voltage can be computed from the characteristic curves at all time uh, uh, now i will uh, discuss the remaining methods uh, uh, let me uh, start with the indirect fixed uh, voltage method or it is also known as the uh, constant uh, vo uh, voltage method the term constant voltage in maximum power point tracking is used to describe uh, two basic types of technique one of which is uh, uh, the output voltage is regulated at a constant value uh, under all uh, conditions that my, uh, might apply and the second one which is uh, the uh, fixed voltage uh, method is the one in which the output voltage is regulated based on the constant uh, ratio measured uh, 
that is the measured open uh, circuit voltage if uh, the output voltage is held constant uh, there are no attempts uh, to track the maximum uh, power point so uh, it is not the maximum uh, power point tracking technique uh, if we are uh, 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 if we take it into a strict sense though it does have some advantages in case when the maximum power point tracking tends to fail and thus uh, it is sometimes used to supplement maximum power point uh, tracking method in constant voltage uh, uh, maximum power uh, tracking uh, method also known as the uh, open voltage method the power delivered to the load is momentarily interrupted and then the open circuit voltage with zero current is measured the controller then resumes the operation uh, to the voltage uh, controlled at a uh, fixed ratio these fixed uh, fixed ratios are uh, usually changing uh, with different uh, uh, scenarios so it requires open circuiting solar cell momentarily uh, so it will cause a disruption of the operation of the uh, cell now i will discuss the remaining method that is the uh, fractional method moving on toward the uh, fractional uh, voltage uh, method the operating voltage at maximum power point vmp maximum point of uh, at maximum power voltage of a given uh, cell type uh, a specific fraction is a specific fraction of open circuit voltage and we name it as k now the unloaded cell install is installed alongside the loaded cell in photovoltaic array in some condition in the same conditions and uh, open circuit voltage is continuously measured and then the operating voltage is set according to the law that operation operational voltage is k times the uh, voc where k is coming from the uh, non load loaded solar cell the next one is the uh, pertube and uh, observe method in this method we inject a uh, small signal current uh, uh, after small intervals and measure the dynamic and static impedances in all the cases uh, we uh, need to ensure that for maximum power point uh, tracking or uh, for uh, ensuring the maximum uh, efficiency the static and the dynamic power uh, static and the dynamic impedances should be same the next one is the incremental method uh, 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 or uh, incremental conductance method in the in, uh, incremental conductance method the control controller measures the incremental changes in the photovoltaic array current and the voltage to predict the effect of uh, the change in voltage the method requires more computation in controller part but can track changes uh, uh, changing conditions and uh, more rapidly as uh, compared uh, to the previous method that was uh, uh, perturbed and observed method so in this uh, method increasing uh, op uh, operational uh, voltage if uh, the derivative of voltage with respect to the uh, power is uh, positive and we uh, decrease the operating voltage if derivative of uh, power with respect to uh, voltage is uh, negative the curve uh, uh, can have maximum operating point uh, when the rate of change of power with respect to voltage is uh, zero uh, 